Have you ever heard of someone going to jail for a ridiculous reason? Imagine for a moment the solemnity of a courtroom, the stern judge, the anxious defendant, the serious-faced jury, all present to discuss matters of law and order. These scenarios typically bring to mind images of grave crimes and serious offenses, but what happens when the law, in all its intricate complexity, ensnares someone for reasons that are, well, laughable? The law is a vast, intricate web born of centuries of thought, debate, and refinement. It's a system designed to maintain order, protect rights, and ensure justice. But, like any system, it has its quirks. Sometimes these quirks can create scenarios that seem more suited to a comedy sketch than a courtroom. Let's consider, for instance, the case of a person who ends up behind bars for failing to return a library book on time, or the individual who collects rainwater only to be slapped with an unexpected legal battle. Yes, you heard that right. These are not scenes from a Monty Python sketch, but real-life examples of law and order taking a surprising and somewhat absurd turn. While most crimes committed are serious and warrant legal intervention, there are instances where the law and common sense seem to exist on different planes. Instances where you find yourself questioning the very fabric of reality. Instances that are, in a word, ridiculous, and it's these instances we're going to explore today. Not to mock the law or those who uphold it, but to shed light on the peculiar corners of our legal system that often go unnoticed. Because as much as law and order is about justice and protection, it also has its moments of sheer absurdity. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare to suspend your disbelief. We're about to embark on a journey into the most unlikely corners of the legal system. From overdue library books to illegal rainwater collection and beyond, we're going to uncover some truly bizarre tales of law and order. Let's dive into these peculiar cases that will leave you incredulous. Imagine being handcuffed for not returning a library book on time. Yes, you heard it right. There was a man who found himself in the clutches of the law due to an overdue library book. Let's delve into this peculiar case that has left many shaking their heads in disbelief. In a world where serious crimes often go unpunished, it's mind-boggling to think that an overdue library book could lead to an arrest. But that's exactly what happened to one unsuspecting man. His offense? failing to return a library book within the stipulated time frame. This man, let's call him Joe, had borrowed a book from his local library. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and before he knew it, Joe was staring at a year. He thought little of it, after all, it was just a book, right? Wrong. The library, having exhausted all polite reminders, decided to escalate the matter to the local law enforcement. The day of reckoning came without warning. A knock on the door and there stood two officers ready to enforce the law. Poor Joe in his pajamas was handcuffed and whisked away to the police station, all for a book gathering dust on his coffee table. The law in some places is so strict that it can lead to such bizarre situations. You might be thinking this can't be real, but it is. In some jurisdictions, not returning a library book is considered theft, a misdemeanor that can result in fines or even jail time. This case serves as a reminder of the absurdity that can lurk within the law. It's a testament to how rules, when blindly enforced without context or discretion, can lead to scenarios that border on the ridiculous. So the next time you borrow a book from a library, remember Joe. Return that book on time or face the prospect of law enforcement knocking on your door. As odd as it may sound, this case is just the tip of the iceberg. Ever thought collecting rainwater could land you in jail? It sounds absurd, doesn't it? Well, buckle up because we're diving into the peculiar case of a man who faced jail time for doing just that. In the heartland of America, a place where self-reliance is a way of life, a man named Gary Harrington lived a simple life. He was an eco-conscious individual who decided to collect rainwater on his property. Now you might be thinking, what's wrong with being resourceful? Well, it turns out in some parts of the world, it's not as straightforward as you'd think. In the state where Gary resided, there are specific laws regulating the collection and use of rainwater. These laws, rooted in the concept of prior appropriation, essentially mean that one cannot divert water that would have otherwise gone to other locations downstream. Yes, this includes rainwater. Gary, who was oblivious to these peculiar environmental laws, had built three reservoirs on his property over the years. These reservoirs, which collectively held about 13 million gallons of water, were primarily filled by rain and snowmelt. 
However, the state's water resources department caught wind of Gary's reservoirs and weren't thrilled. They argued that Gary had illegally diverted water from Big Butte Creek, a local water source, and charged him with nine counts of water misuse. Despite his pleas of ignorance and eco-friendly intentions, Gary was sentenced to 30 days in jail and slapped with a fine of $1,500. This case sparked a heated debate about water rights and environmental conservation. While some people saw Gary as a criminal, others viewed him as a victim of overzealous regulation. Regardless of where you stand, it does make you wonder about the intricacies of our legal system and the unexpected ways in which it can impact our lives. Believe it or not, the next case is even more mind-boggling. Fashion police is real and it can get you arrested. Now let's delve into the peculiar case of a man who found himself in handcuffs due to his choice of attire. Yes, you heard it right, his crime wearing saggy pants. While this might sound like a punchline to a bad joke, it was a harsh reality for an individual who was arrested for just such an offense. In our society, fashion and personal style are often seen as forms of self-expression. From the clothes we choose to wear, to the way we style our hair, these aesthetic choices help to define our identity and personality. But what happens when your fashion choice is not just frowned upon, but actually illegal? This brings us to the story of our saggy pants wearer. In certain parts of the United States, there are laws, believe it or not, that make it illegal to wear pants that sag too low. These laws, often framed under the umbrella of public decency, can lead to actual arrests. In one such case, a man was taken into custody for wearing his pants too low. This might sound ridiculous and you might even laugh, but for the man involved, it was a real life nightmare. He was arrested, booked, and had to face the legal consequences for his fashion choice. And it's not just the United States where this happens. Around the world, there are similar laws that dictate what is acceptable and what is not when it comes to dressing. In some places, wearing certain types of clothing can even land you in jail. Imagine that being arrested for the simple act of choosing what to wear. So the next time you're about to criticize someone's fashion sense, remember, it's not just a matter of personal taste. In some places, it could be a matter of legality. And who knows, your fashion choices could land you on the wrong side of the law. And you thought your fashion choices were a personal matter. Who knew the path to jail could be so absurd? A thought that might cross your mind after hearing about these cases. It's a stark reminder of the complexity and peculiarities of the law that sometimes the seemingly mundane actions can land you in hot water. Let's take a moment to revisit the cases we discussed today. We started with the case of the overdue library book, a seemingly harmless act of forgetfulness that resulted in a man facing jail time. It's a testament to the seriousness with which laws, however trivial they may seem, are upheld. Next, we delved into the case of the illegal rainwater collection, a man who thought he was doing a good deed by conserving water, only to find himself on the wrong side of the law. It's a clear example of how even the most well-intentioned actions can sometimes backfire in the face of legal intricacies. Then we examined the case of the saggy pants, an arrest that was more about personal style than public safety. This case highlights how personal expression can sometimes clash with societal norms and expectations, leading to unexpected legal consequences. These cases underscore the fact that the law is a complex beast, with many layers and nuances that can, at times, seem utterly nonsensical. It's a labyrinth that requires careful navigation, and a reminder that even the smallest misstep can lead to serious consequences. But it's not all doom and gloom. These cases also serve as a catalyst for conversation and debate. They challenge us to question the status quo and provoke thought about the nature of justice and the role of law in our society. So, as we wrap up this journey into the bizarre world of law and order, we encourage you to share your thoughts on these cases. Do you find them as absurd as we do? Or do you see the logic behind these seemingly illogical legal outcomes? Remember, it's a strange world out there. Stay informed, stay safe, and most importantly, return your library books on time.